Hi Michael, Max. Um, what are your perspectives, respectively, um, on the, the level of readiness of an integrated approach to patient information, both at a hospital level and at a regional and national standpoint? I think there's a couple of inflection points. The first one is that sharing patient data information three years ago was mainly at the hospital level and maybe with some doctors in the region. Now it's much more about the extended ecosystem. It's about collaborating with public health authorities and social care and clinical research. And the second thing is to enable that collaboration, the focus is not anymore on the single episode within the hospital setting. It's the long-term outcome for the patient. So the metrics for driving the different behaviors are much more around that long-term quality of outcomes rather than how many visits, how many lab tests, how many radiology tests are managed uh, within the four walls of a hospital. And, and further to that, if to extend what, what you're saying, like if before, uh, the discussion were more on the hospital level and kind of the ministry has kind, kind of been uh, not that uh, visible in that process and uh, more way at bottlenecks where they say like they've always been looking at uh, the security issues. Now they're looking at the benefits and now you have more and more the ministry itself driving this agenda uh, and, 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 and trying to get all those different parties to participate in this agenda rather than what was before. So it's a big change on the, let's say, on the political yeah. landscape in supporting this idea. And um, what are the barriers still preventing a holistic view to happen? Well, I think some of the barriers are the same that we had three years ago. So the yeah. old concern around sensitive data protection and how you handle data and how you do data governance, they're probably even exploded further than they were three years ago because of this collaboration beyond the boundaries of the hospital. And then there are some technical barriers that still have not been overcome, not because the technology is not there, but because there are so many different technologies and they don't talk to one another. So those are two things that are recurring challenges. Yeah, I would say from our perspective as a, as a vendor in the market, uh, I would say the moment like those who embraced uh, the vision that we were uh, promoting of uh, in the independent infrastructure to manage patient data, um, which is kind of uh, not uh, uh, not that kind of uh, tightly tied to the applications which is surrounding that, those people could move much quicker. And uh, interesting, like relate also to the Minister of Health. Uh, comment yesterday on the opening which he said I see a lot of innovation uh, trying to figure out how they're going to get in into the ecosystem and what we've done with decoupling the, the data patient data which is the key mandatory thing to enable all this ecosystem to work uh, from the different applications that they were tied at, created this opportunity for a lot of new startups a lot of health innovation that uh, taking place uh, so rapidly to uh, be able to participate in that process uh, and those who are still stuck, I would say, in the old generation where every application managing its own data, they have difficulties to move forward. And we had that discussion today in a session around the big data analytics that people say, you know, we want to do the big data analytics, but how do I get the data out from what I have? So it's quite uh, interesting. Yeah. Um, so, as you said, the, the Dutch Ministry of Health mentioned in, in the opening of, of eHealth Week um, that there is a lot of innovation going on in eHealth, um, but we need to scale it up. Um, so what would you advise ministries of health to consider and where would they start? The national governments that have tried to impose everything from the top down have failed uh, dramatically. They've wasted a lot of money. But if they can enable the transformation through encouraging the adoption of standards, through providing guidelines for data sharing, through making available budgets to encourage pilots and scale solutions, that could be uh, a necessary and, and valuable role 
for national ministries rather than intruding into the details of what the individual hospitals can do with technology. Yeah, I think like uh, adding to what Max said is, uh, I think as a ministry, they have to uh, ensure the governance of the information and how it should manage, let's say, on the national level, and then let other people to select whatever they want to use as the application uh, to use this data for, for, uh, for their own purposes. Uh, in a, the, definitely in a secure and, and a compliance manner. Uh, however, what we see is like also we had that discussion today as well as is, is uh, the social uh, networks will come in. Uh, the mobile is already in. The converge between the social and the mobile will anyway force those uh, nations kind of to reconsider the, the way things has been done. And again, as, as more you're focusing on the data itself and protecting the data and governing the data, the, the more you are, it's easier, easier for you to actually to engage this world and, and let, you know, the way that also the ministry, for example, was presenting the, the app with the, with the bot of interaction with the artificial, that is, it's, now, it's, not, it's not the future, it's now. And you will see that actually becoming an, another kind of element in uh, interactions between the citizen or the patient with, with, with the healthcare system or with the government organization. So, it's, yeah. it's, it's getting there. And I think you have some examples in countries around Europe where the ministry has provided the platform backbone. So the hospital, when they want to do some innovation, they don't need to reinvent the wheel completely. They have some basic components they can reuse, right? Yeah, yeah, and we, like those countries already have done it, for example, like in Finland or in Georgia. And I'm thinking about the next phase, which will be how do I uh, enable this data for research. So now that every uh, university hospital will work on a very limited data sets with a limited outcome, but work on a larger data sets that can scale up this innovation. And that's exactly what everybody's looking for. Good, thank you very much. Thank you.